Welcome to another episode of Cyber Secrets. This will give you a geolocation of where you're actually at. So you can see my IP address is 148.240.4.95, and that's in Mexico City. So now what I'm going to do is do apt-get space install space tor, and this is going to download and install the tor service. This is not the tor browser bundle, this is the actual service. So any tool that you use can be bound within the tor network. It does take a little bit of time to download. And once this is set up, it actually works great with a program called Proxy Chains. Proxy Chains has the ability to go through a bunch of different proxies that you put into a config file, but it's already set up to 127.0.0.1, port 9050, in the config file after you install Tor. So we're going to open it up right now and run Ice Weasel right through Proxy Chains. And as you can see, nothing's happened. It wasn't able to connect. We close it, but look in the log file, and it did try to go through proxy chains. The reason is, is we need to start the service. So once you download the Tor service, you need to type in service space Tor space start. Wait about a minute, then do it again. So proxy chains space ice weasel space what's my IP address dot com, and now you can see we have a new IP address going through a Tor network. To stay with the browser theme, I'm going to download a software called Lynx. So it's apt-get space install space lynx. Then once it's there, I'm going to run it through proxy chains just to show you that not all tools run very well through proxy chains. Lynx is very special because it does go through the console, but so does proxy chains. As you can see, it's mixing up the information. Now just because we installed the Tor service does not mean we're actually using Tor. You have to use proxy chains. So again, I'm going to run Ice Weasel without proxy chains to remind you that we still have the raw IP address. So it's not just browsers that can use the Tor network. So what we're going to do is open up a tool called FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP software, and we're going to run proxy chains space FileZilla just to show you that it does use proxy chains quite well. So type in a host, hit quick connect, and as you can see in the background, it does start to propagate information into proxy chains. Let's use a tool that's a little bit more complex. We're going to use Nmap and scan a target. So you just use basic Nmap. Again, it's going to come with your raw IP address. So anybody running any sort of IDS will be able to find out where you came from. Here's a trick though. Nmap uses raw sockets, and that does not really work well with the Tor network. So when you do proxy chains, space Nmap, and do the same target, it's not going to come up with the same results. A lot of times it'll say it cannot resolve through DNS. So what we're going to have to do is find the IP address. So there are some limitations to doing this. However, once you're able to get the IP address, which is simple as doing ping, or P-I-N-G, space the target domain name, you grab that IP and then just run the same command. The nmap, space whatever parameters that you're going to use, and then a space, the IP address. Now I'm going to use a program called OWASP Zap. So proxy chains, space OWASP dash zap. And this is an application that allows you to test the security of a website. So basically, it's a vulnerability scanner for web applications. It's actually really nice, especially for being free. OWASP is the Open Web Application Security Project, and they do a lot of really good work in the application security realm. I do a lot of pen testing, and I do use a lot of extra IP addresses, because sometimes people will block me during even a scan or when I'm actually attacking the system. So this is one way that you can uh, bounce around without having to have a VPN. It's a free, cheap, easy resource. Another cool tip is, if you want to see all the contents that you've typed in the command line, type in history. And to get rid of it, type in history-c. Now for a recap. I was using Kali Linux, installed the Tor service, started the Tor service, and now proxy chains will allow me to run any application using the Tor service. Now just a reminder, don't break the law, but as you're on the internet, stay safe and... The Cyber Secrets web series covers computer forensics, 
hacking, and everything in between. Thank you for your continued support of Cyber Secrets. With the reboot of the different series, we want to ask if you have ideas for future content or suggestions for improvement. Please let us know. Click subscribe for new episodes of Cyber Secrets.